are starting the day out potentially with some wigglers from you know who the man the myth the legend while i will at northwoods bait and tackle where's he at, where's he at? Where, where is that guy Will was kind of giving me a nice report around the Bemidji area, and he said, don't be afraid to look way east and way west, like kind of leave town a little bit, just because there's a little less snow out there. And anywhere where you can find ice, it doesn't have that snow on it. You know, it's got a lot more time to kind of solidify. So is that the plan? Is yeah. that good info? Yeah, well, yeah, it's the best info we got right now. Um, you know, we've kind of hit 40s and almost pushing 50 the last couple of days, but it kind of... Kind of hasn't hurt the ice too much around here. It's kind of been melting the snow around a little bit. So hopefully now the snow is going to be gone. It's going to be dropping down into the teens this next week. We're going to have great ice by next weekend yeah. for sure. So everybody that's looking to come up next weekend will be set. So that's going to be good. And Will in Northwoods is located basically right on your route on your way to Red Lake. So swing in here, they have copious amounts of wicked good tackle. Anything you could possibly need. And always a hot fishing report from the man himself. All right, see you walleye. All right, I think we're ready to roll. We are not walleye fishing today. Today we're going a little M and M. Sorry about that. We are not walleye fishing today. We are going for probably one of my favorite fish through the ice, and that's crappies. I'm um, just leaving Northwoods bait right now, and yeah, I, I don't have any affiliation with Northwoods bait, by the way. That's just where my good buddy Will works, and I love mom and pop tackle shops. If you can buy your minnows local, buy your tackle local. Um, it really helps these places out and their season sometimes is so short, obviously, if you're up north. So yeah, support your pals and support local bait. Let's head to the lake. We got a little bit of a drive, kind of going way out of town. All right, we have made it to this beautiful backwoods beauty of a gem lake. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go really slow. Doesn't look like too many people have been here. Uh, and yeah, like we know, shallow muddy lakes freeze first, deep clear lakes freeze later. And this lake is kind of in between both of that. So I'm just gonna be really precautious. Uh, oh, oh, before I go any farther, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, your friends, your family. Today's Thanksgiving, um, and I'm spending it alone. But that's okay, I'm, I'm up here working, I'm up here fishing, having a good time. But one thing I wanna say I'm extremely thankful this year uh, for is amazing friends who have now basically turned into family. I'm extremely thankful for my family and friends, but I'm very thankful for the lifelong friends that I have that now I consider family. And uh, a great example of that is my good buddy Brent Lopez and Danny, his, his wife-to-be, they're engaged, congratulations. But, um, but over the course of, I don't know, like a decade, they have always opened their home to me and any other random fish bum that comes through. I couldn't be more excited to stay with them. Thank you, Brent, thank you, Danny. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. But enough talking, let's, let's go catch a crappie. I haven't caught a crappie in, I don't know, months? Last night, I, uh, I came out here and I checked the ice and there wasn't a ton. There's probably only three inches of ice here, but it's good ice. And one thing I liked about this lake is 
I guess half of it has snow on it, but the other half, kind of where the basins are, doesn't have any snow on it. So I can really read the ice. If the ice froze a little bit different or some of it froze later or earlier, I can really see that. When there's snow on the lake, you really can't read the ice. So take precaution, go slow. Like I said, last night I chipped my way out here and uh, it's a cool, cool morning this morning. So we're good to go. We just need to punch some holes and then um, spend the noodle. Just hear those sleigh bells ringing, ling, jing, 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 ling, doo. Come on, it's lovely weather to catch a crappie or two. If you are fishing a lake that has no snow on it, it's early ice and you need to make a long walk, these can be your best friend. These are ice cleats. But if there's no snow and the ice is thin and the fish are finicky, these can be your worst nightmare or your enemy. Today, I'm not wearing ice cleats. Um, yesterday when I was kind of poking around with not only the Vexlar, but I'm um, doing a little bit of fishing. It seems like when I was moving and walking around and wearing those ice cleats, those fish, they could just hear it. It was probably so loud. There's no snow cover, the ice is this thick. If you are just settling down in an area, gonna go slow and just hop a bunch of holes, I'd suggest take your ice cleats off. Uh, it may result in some more fish, so. On the menu today for the setup, we have the clam straight drop, 27 inch light, medium light, spring bobber rod. And probably my all time favorite jig in the history of the world, uh, just a red and white half ant. Why not start with your favorite, right? I'm in 19 feet here. I'm not marking really anything, but I'll drop down here, especially during early ice. Sometimes going slow and walking around slow and fishing the area slow can be your best friend. All right. We'll see if anybody's around. Oh, I just missed one. Shoot. A bit like a bluegill. Come back. Oh, I just missed him again. No, 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 no. I'm rusty. Bite it again. Got him. Fooled me twice, but not three times. Oh, a little crappie. Just a little dude. But honestly, he'd probably eat. Oh, might be a good little eater. Okay. The way he bit, he bit it so light, I thought he was a bluegill. He's got some buddies down there. Here we go, nice marks. Here we go, fish on. Oh, oh, okay. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Oh, it's a big gill. Oh, it's a big gill. Beautiful gill. Oh my gosh. I've got a soft spot in my heart for big gills. I just, I can't kill them. I love killing crappies, but I cannot kill big gills. Dang, it's a beautiful fish. I'm gonna let him go. I want his crappie pals. There we go. God, that was a light bite. My spring bobber barely moved. Oh, crappie. Why are the crappies biting so light? All right. He's another pretty small one, but He'd be a good one to cut up. I'll keep him. All right, so the crappies and gills are definitely mixed in. There we go. Light bite. Light, light bite. Oh, it's another bluegill. I'm just killing crappies today, I've decided. See you, buddy. Fish on. That was an upbite. I bet this is a crappie. Oh, oh, get a little dig to him. Oh no, it's a big gill. Wow, nice big gill. Holy smokes. I'm kind of trying to cut up some crappies, but if the gills want to keep playing, that's okay. 
beautiful. Okay, I, I'm gonna go right back down there. He's gonna eat it. Here we go. Crop, nice. You're gonna be breakfast. I think they're moving quick. Here we go. Come on up and eat it. Here we go. He's gonna eat. There we go. Smoked it. I think that's what I gotta do. I just gotta keep slowly hole hopping. Here we go. Oh, nice crappie. Nice crappie. Nice crappie. There we go. Oh, that's a nice crappie. He smoked it. Beautiful. I'm gonna cut him too. That's probably a perfect 11 and a half, 11 and a half incher. Here we go. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, it's a gill. You get the pass, buddy. Nice gill. Sweet. It's been so long since I've pounded fish on an ice rod. It feels so good. Every day out ice fishing is fun, but it's also not too often you get 35 degree weather, beautiful morning, zero wind. It's, it is an absolutely epic morning to me on the lake. I'm warm. I, I could be out here in just a sweatshirt and jeans per near. Oh, but it's not fun to kneel on the ice with jeans. There we go. Fish on again. Wow, this is a hot hole. Oh, I think it's a, a gill. Another decent gill. The average out here seems really good. I'm not catching, you know, a bunch of small gills. <laughs> Beautiful. Right back down. I'm going to catch a couple more, and then I should probably start breakfast. And then I'll play around out here on this lake, probably for the afternoon bite. I might try to find a few more different areas. Let's see where I should hunker down, kind of, as the sun sets tonight. All right, really quick, I'll show you what I'm seeing on my Vexlar. I'll bring it all the way back to start mode. Turn it off and turn it on. This is a FLX 30, and right now I have it in the off position, start mode. I'm just gonna flip it on to auto. This is just all the default settings. And boom, it shows me in 20 feet. Here's the top of the ice, here's the whole water column right here, and here's the bottom. All of these are marks, these are fish right here but I kind of want to zoom in on that area. So I'm going to flip to zoom, click it once, six foot bottom zoom, nice. And then I'm going to adjust the power a little bit. I'm going to go to medium power. See now I can kind of separate all those fish. All right, let's drop down and try to catch one. Active fish. Up oh, hit me, it's got to be a nice crappie. It is a nice crappie. Good cutter. They're slamming the half ant. Half ant and some euros. I love using plastics, but when I'm really unfamiliar with the lake, I don't know if it's gonna be a pressure bite. I don't know if there's more gills here than crappies. I, I like to start out with meat, I really do. From one to three feet off bottom. Come on. Oh, they're coming up. Oh, it's the best sight in the world. Watching freaking school of fish come up on the vex. Eat it. Oh, up bite. He's gotta be crappies. I don't know though, that one gill up bit me. Oh, nice crappie, choked it. <laughs> you see how far they're eating it? <laughs> these, are, these are nice crappies, man. The average is super good size, like 11 incher. Really nice. Big up bite, gotta be a crop. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Nice crappie, perfect cutter. 
beautiful. I'm gonna come back and pick up the carnage. Oh, yeah. I need some coffee. What a freaking beautiful morning. Still like five mile an hour winds. Man, I've been dying for a good old crappie fish fry. Oh. Bingo. I like to put them on this little cutting board just because I like to feel a little fancy. <laughs> I don't know why I do it, I just always do it. Man, that'll be a delicious little breakfast. Oh, it's no turkey gravy and stuffing, but man, it doesn't get much better than that. Mm. 
so good. Like I said before, but I just gotta say it again. That's one thing that's really fun about early ice is it's not bitter, bitter cold yet. You're hoping for those cold overnights so you can get good ice, but it's 40 degrees, no wind. It's a beautiful day to be ice fishing. So good. Please comment below your favorite ways to make fish or unique ways that you've heard people making fish. Um, I'm, I'm a simple guy. I do a lot of shore lunch and it's just, it's easy to pack, it's quick. And I love the taste of it. I love Cajun, I love beer batter. I love oven style, oven style is so freaking good. Um, I like original and then I like to doctor it up my own way. Uh, I did Cajun this time and I, I put some special seasoning in it too that, that'll be a secret though, that's Steph's special seasoning. And um, yeah, I just, I love fish anyway really, to be honest, I'm not a picky dude. I just, I like it fresh and it's, it's just, it tastes really good when you're still on the ice. So yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way to the end. If you're coming to the St. Paul Ice Show, please head on down Saturday, come to the meetup. We're giving away big prizes. Um, I don't know how big. I'm, I'm really tempted to pull the trigger on some expensive prizes and bring them down there because if you guys come down and come to the meetup and, and spend some of your time with me, I just, I appreciate it and I wanna I wanna give away the best prizes I possibly can so that's all I got I hope each and every one of you had an awesome Thanksgiving um, and thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to watch the video and subscribe if you're subscribed thank you and uh, yeah I guess we've done lucky seven stay tuned and as always let the adventure begin something ain't right got to find a way to move ahead, move ahead. oh my pretty baby.